everybody, what is up? My name is Astercat, and welcome back to your turn to die. I'm still recovering. I'm doing all right. We'll see if we can make it through this episode without crying. My guess is probably no, but we'll see. Now, I have made the decision with the way that the game's been progressing and with how much they're including the characters who have already passed and by how much it pained me to not put a certain somebody in the number one spot. I have re-evaluated my original decision and we're going to include everybody in the character rankings at the end. Characters who are dead and characters who are alive. And so to start us off, I have a character ranking list. You're getting a bonus one that I'm gonna go over some of my thoughts. If you're not interested in hearing the new rankings or hearing my thoughts on them, please feel free to skip ahead to this time. But to those of you who are here, welcome. We're gonna start with the bottom up. I'm gonna be honest, Kyutaro and So have been flipping a lot. Currently, Kyutaro's back in that spot just because we haven't interacted with him much since. The difference is, So I have reasons to love and reasons to hate. So he's like that back and forth, right balanced in the middle. Whereas Kyutaro, I still don't have all that many opinions on him yet. So like they are both a neutral level. Neutral leaning slightly more towards like level, which is why they keep flip-flopping so much. I have too much emotion related to Soul, and not enough in related to Kyutaro, which is why they almost end up in the exact same places. So they take 12 and 11 for now. Number 10 is Alice. Once again, I think I may grow to like him a lot more, and I don't dislike him now. We just haven't had too much of a chance to interact with him. He's still being very brash. I like the fact that he cares about Reiko a lot, actually. I like that the, ca the care that he shows towards her, and I'm looking forward to learning more about their story. However, I also, I, there's not enough there for him to go higher than that for me. Uh, number nine is Kana, sweetheart. I adore her. Obviously, things are a little bit complicated between her and Sarah right now. I think we made up, and I think that's a good thing. She's, she's, she's there. I love her. Uh, number eight is Mishima. His story still makes me so sad and I adore anyone who's trying to protect the ones I'm trying to protect. I actually, I have the characters sorted, especially the ones who are still here, into various brackets. I explained this to my friend and I'm gonna go over that in just a minute, but I'm gonna finish going through the list first. We'll get back to that. But yes, Mishima protecting those I wanna protect instantly gives him good points in my list and what he did was so selfless and so smart that I just, oh, I miss him. I miss all of them. Number seven is Reiko. It's gonna get so cliche for me to just say I love them to every single character on this list, but that is genuinely how I feel. Every single one of these characters has something so interesting and compelling about them that just makes me wanna talk about them. So Reiko's at seven. Once again, protecting the people I wanna protect gives you amazing points in my book. And I think getting to learn a little bit more of her backstory through her not brother, because they're strangers now. I'm still so curious what happened there. I'm hoping to learn more, but for now, I'm glad I have her by my side to help protect the ones I want to protect. Number six is KG. Once again, we've gone over the complicated feelings on him. I'm gonna talk about that a bit more when I talk about the different brackets of characters that I just mentioned, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Number five is now. I don't know why, but I've been really liking her character recently and how she's both emotionally mature while also still being a mess. And I like the acknowledgement that it's kind of okay for her to be a mess right now and it makes sense for her to be a mess, while also in certain situations when it comes down to it, she's still able to process through her emotions in a very logical way. Like when she's, she's currently being sucked into the whole AI thing, which I'm very concerned about how that's going to affect her, but she acknowledges that it's probably not a good thing and she acknowledges that she should be doing other things. So she just, the fact that she's not just like, everybody shut up, leave me alone. She's just like, I'm sorry, but I really, I, I need this right now. And the fact that she has the ability to come out and say that to us, I really respect. And I don't like, I, I, I love her. Number four, <laughs> my boy Kai. I love him. Every time I think of his smile, my heart just melts and breaks all at the same time. I need to draw that. I'll do that after. But I love him. What can I say? I feel so... I'm so sad. I'm glad that I'm putting the dead characters back into this ranking list because I felt bad that he dropped so low on my list right before he died because in reality, that's not where he was on my list. He was up there and I just got a little bit scared that they were kind of going to go like a really odd route with the whole affection thing. S similarly to um, Keiji calling Sarah cute. 
I was scared it was gonna go that direction, and so I kind of backed off from Kai for a second and was like, okay, you being a stalker, fine. Affection for Sarah? I was just, I got a little bit scared, and so he got bumped down, so I'm so glad he's back up there. Number three is Gein. Number two is Sarah. And of course, number one is Joe. He will forever be number one. I don't think anybody else is going to be able to top that. So before we actually get into the game, I did want to say, so especially with the characters who are still alive, I've split everybody into categories into my head. I was able to process through a little bit more why I'm clinging to Keiji so much, and there actually is a very logical reason. He is, like I mentioned, the one authority figure, the almost parent-like figure, the one I can go to for guidance. And there's a reason that I think I'm gravitating towards him for that reason. Of the nine people that we have alive, excluding me, there's eight. We have three separate categories. Kind of. We have a couple, honestly, no, we have a couple of different categories. So first of all, there's the ones I want to protect, which is like, you are my babies, come here. I want to keep you safe more than anything. I'm not going to bring my burdens to you because my top priority is being that structure for you. And that is Kana, Gein, and now. Those three are, I don't want to say I'm babying them, but I'm like, let me bring you close. I don't know if I can trust you to get through this on your own and so i'm going to take you and lead you through it so they're the ones i'm out to protect then there's those who i don't feel the need to protect but i also don't want to go to them for reassurance they're not going to be able to take any of the burdens off my shoulders they're either not going to get it they're going to make it worse or overall it's just not going to be a good thing and that is kyutaro soul and alice Kyutaro, he's got his convictions, but he's not the guy I'd go to for comfort or reliability. He's too rash. He doesn't think through things the most logically. He tends to lead with his emotions and make rash decisions that I just, I can't side with. So I can't go to him with the emotional stuff because I'm scared of what he would do. Obviously, I feel like I don't need to talk about Soul and why I wouldn't go to him for comfort or stability. And then Alice, who is still being very harsh towards us. He's put up a wall. I'm not going to- I'm going to try and break that wall, but I'm not going to try and break that wall with the motive of seeking comfort and support, if that makes sense. I want to get to know him, but I don't want to get to know him so that I can rely on him, if that makes sense. I think I said if that makes sense like seven times. Anyways, then that leaves us with Reiko and Keiji. Now, I've mentioned before, I consider Reiko to be a pretty safe person. I would rely on her. She is somebody I would go to for comfort. The issue with that is that she is also trying to protect those that I'm trying to protect. So I feel like the two of us are kind of tag teaming, keeping Kana, Gein, and now safe. She is on the same mindset as me of let's take them and keep them safe. Let's get them through this. And so if I went to her and was like, hey, I'm really struggling. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I need guidance. That is putting that burden onto her shoulders as well. So now she has four people to take care of and to protect, and I don't want to do that to her right now. She's under enough stress as it is. So I would rather help her, not burden her. So that leaves us with Keiji, who I don't feel the need to protect, because I think he can protect himself, and who has openly made it clear that he wants to protect me. And so that's why I'm gravitating towards Keiji. But that's just my two cents on it. We've talked for way too long. It's time to actually get into the game. We're going to continue. Not in file 50. That is the one my sister is on. I'm forcing her to play this game with me. Her favorite character is Joe. She keeps talking about how much she loves Joe. Anyways, your turn to die. So negotiations if somebody could i mean i guess i'll figure it out pretty naturally but if it'd be great if i could get a little bit more clarification on what exactly the hallucinations are or not hallucinations jesus um the uh negotiations are so like w when it started it said day one morning so is negotiating with people going to take time pixie casera you want tokens right okay search so try it out just try it out. I want to trade 20 tokens. Uh, I am actually really down for that. That's a pretty good idea. So, I have something to say about Reiko. That I'm very interested in. All right. Discuss. Great. Should I pour some coffee? No, thanks. What's this about a trade? 
Cold-hearted as ever. Just what I said. We trade 20 tokens for experimentation. Our enemy seems surprisingly serious about following the rules, if nothing else. Even if there was that dummy rule. The more tokens you collect, the better. We can probably trust that's correct. So as we don't get a certain amount of tokens, they're penalized. Doesn't sound unlikely, does it? I didn't even consider that possibility. That's a good point. Mm. I mean, like, if I refuse nothing, does it have to be 20? Probably no point, just one or two, you know? Besides, they call it the Trist Barter Game. If I gotta trust somebody, I'm thinking I can trust you, Sarah. I... I want allies right now. Trust you, Keiji. Thanks. <laughs> I do imagine the doubt in your eyes at first. I know. Sorry. So you don't deny it, eh? Well, in the end, I'll defer to your wishes. I'm not an extortion kind of guy. What should I do if I trade 20 tokens? I'll be losing 20 of my own. Should I still go through with this trade? We have 100. And I'm also curious to kind of experiment with it. And if I'm going to experiment with anyone, I feel like taking 20 tokens... I'm curious about KG's file. So I feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea. The files I'm most interested in, and I think what I missed is that we do have to trade their information their tokens for their information so like if i wanted keiji's information i'd need 50 of his tokens i'm wondering can i trade other people's tokens like could i trade keiji's tokens for souls if i wanted to not for souls information but like could i do i have to can i only trade my tokens let's trade keiji thanks sarah okay well that's it for negotiations oh that was it okay Suddenly I remembered something. Is Nell still there, I wonder? At the AI Professor Mishima. I should go check on her. You're right. Okay, so... I'm probably not gonna do this often, but to get a grasp on what this really is, I'm going to reload my save. I'm still gonna go back and do the same thing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make the same deal, I think. But I'm gonna go and see what the other people had to say. Mixing Sarah, you want tokens, real? What does here short pitch mean? Wait, let's go. Let's see what KG says first. Ranger, was it? That enemy of ours said the more tokens you collect, the better. Put another way, who knows what'll happen if you don't have very many. Why trade with me? Because you're so darn cute. Okay. We should just remember it already. Sarah, just try it out. Okay. I see. Okay, so we can't talk to everybody like this. You want tokens, right? Here's short pitch. I've been told not to do this kind of trading money stuff, right? It's kind of like gambling. It's scary. Oof. So if I'm gonna make you happy, big sister, I'll, I'll give you some for free, right? Ten tokens. No. Oh. No, baby, no. Sarah Chidoin has something to say about Reiko. Do you have any inklings about Reiko's treasure? Treasure, you say? Yes. You see, I tried asking him a statue, man. The prize exchange with the item is not present on the counter. It appears there's a secret prize menu. A secret menu? If you should hear more, come to the negotiation table, Sarah Chidoin. Okay. I see. So it looks like we can hear everybody out and then decide based on that. All right. Monitor room. She is still there. Now is talking with her gaze fixed on a single point. Now. So then, Professor, while you are gone. It's like my voice isn't reaching her. I guess it's entirely reasonable. If I were in that situation. If. Who's Joe on that screen then? Sure, I'd be rooted to the spot, too. It doesn't matter if he's fake. I want to meet him and apologize. I want him to forgive me. I can't help thinking about those things. Oh, that's probably not good for hallucination. See if I'm gonna forgive you. Calm down. There's no one there. It's just a hallucination. Oh my god! <gasps> What was that? Calm down. Gotta stay calm. I'm sure. Now it's regretful too. Wondering if she could have saved Mishima. Even that bringing me now back to reality is beyond me. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then, Professor? Yes, I see. Is that so? That probably wasn't good. A photo of you is displayed on the back. Rico.
So wait, this one's me. Alice. Interesting. I'm curious as to who's not here, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, there's nine. Oh wait, no, but Mishima's there, so. Kyutaro. So far, all the alive people. Kana. Gein. Oh, baby Gein. Keiji. So, this one has to be Sol, Joe, or Kai. I'm betting the game is trying to get me to th think. I feel like, or rather, the most logical thought with that it's be, it would, would, would be that it's souls. Wait, no, I'm missing someone. Nows! Hmm, okay. It's strange that it's like there's nine and there's nine of us alive, but the fact that this one's Mishima's. Before I left the room, I looked back toward the monitor one last time. Is that so? It's been nothing but hardship then. However, even... Amid such circumstances, you've made wonderful friends, Miss Now. F friends Indeed, age and the length of your association are of no relevance. There are wonderful people who help each other. I understood that clearly hearing you speak. Please treasure your friends, Miss Now. Okay. I've always been getting saved by them. So from now on, I want to be useful to Reiko, to Sarah, and everyone. Her eyes. <sighs> That's why I'm going now, Professor. <laughs> She's got so much strength. Yes, please come by anytime. I'll be right here. Oh, I won't come here anymore. She's got so much strength. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> Just now, you truly have grown strong, haven't you? I am honored to have had you as my student. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Now. <laughs> I understand completely. <laughs> and I don't see that lightly. That is all I wanted to do when Joe died. In fact, that's kind of all I did do. If my monitor was closer to the screen, I would have done that. I... I'm not strong at all. I wanted you watching over me always. Professor. No. Now is trying to look forward. To accept everything and face reality. Now is a strong person. Much stronger than me. I should go. I'll do what I have to. So much to approach- To so much as approach that strength. Oh no. I'm so proud of you. Noon. Okay. What's that? Shh. Quit it with the stupid jokes, you. Biggest joke around here is your name. Kyutaro and Ranger are arguing. I wonder what happened. Sporn comes first. Might find something besides attractions. Yeah. I agree. No? There are lots of passages on this floor, too. It seems easy to get lost. Kyutaro and Ranger are having a dispute in the middle of the lobby. Damn it, you gotta be screwing with me! Kyutaro, what's the matter? Sarah, there's a range of you said we can't go back to the first and second floors! I mean, you cleared them already, right? That's interesting. Hold on a second, Kai's laptop is down there! Who cares? We'll just confiscate that thing. No way! Damn it, it was unmistakably a clue. The laptop's the last thing I want to let you guys take. Hmm. KG. Bet Kyutaro wants to find the truth about Kai. About Kai? What a troublesome guy, leaving mystery after mystery. I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Some aspects suggested it, his anger for the victims and resistance against the kidnappers. This guy acting for good or for evil. Just whose side was he on? 
And we ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. But we can make inferences. Inferences? Friend or foe, let's consider the possibilities. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. He's so pretty! <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all! That's not the point at all. So one possibility is that Kai was with the baddies. <laughs> what? Like, to do, like a director at the death game, for instance. Yet Kai drew the sage card and died. In his last moments, he said he entrusted me his hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have any acquaintance with Kai. No. Now about this one. Something like Kai betrayed the kidnappers. And he was executed as an example? He did suck Miley after all. I did note that. It's possible he earned their wrath, but... Maybe that's not it. He then here's the next possibility. He's so pretty. Kai was on our side, but had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us, he did dealings or missions in the shadows. Missions? Like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yes, that game where I was tied to a bed and we had to find the key. It wasn't the same for everybody. Can Kyutaro say so? Yep, I have not forgotten that for sure. Er, yes, for Kyutaro, the trial was just to carry the box with Miley's head. Ah, is that what you mean by missions? Yep, in short, Kai might have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. <laughs> no way! I didn't consider that, exactly. Like, if that was his trial... And his game just started before ours? I don't think that's the case, but it is an interesting thought. In other words, he's being manipulated like a disposable pawn. Gah! There's one more. A very slight possibility, but one your friendly policeman liked to hope for. Eh? The possibility we've got an ally on the side of the kidnappers. I also didn't consider that. In other words, there's a traitor among them, trying to destroy the death game from the inside. The person was in contact with Kai and had him assist with the plan. Well, Sarah, that's out of the question. One of the kidnappers is our ally? It's possible. I have no proof that could fully deny it, but... Looks like you can't wrap your head around it. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so... Well, all that's just my hope, anyhow. Could be interesting if Miley was related to this, though. <laughs> It'd be interesting if I had the thought, what if, because, like, I was talking about KG, um, and his policeman, or his not policeman, but his possible policeman friend, right? I was thinking about the possibility of, um, what if, like, the other victims become the floor masters? Or, like, they selected, like, half of them to be, like, the participants, and then, like, half of them to be, like, the floor masters. I was just thinking... And then, like, because, like, they had the doll. And then what if they, like, with, like, the gas, what if they, like, that's when they replaced it with a person, but the person was, like, one of the other people that we have listed, like, uh... I forgot all their names. Shinsuke, Megami, Anzu. I, I, I forgot all of them. That's not the point right now, but the, you get my point. I was just thinking... What organization could do this is more my question. As a policeman, you don't have any ideas about an organization capable of executing this death game, do you? I might. Like, what? It was decades ago, apparently, but I've read the files. There was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the policemen were putting all- Sorry, I just, like, zoned into the music. Hmm. At the time, the police were putting all their- putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shadows had it pretty rough, so crime rings started lying waste, lying waste to their own. But they're just gonna mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, we thought. And so they executed a plan to unify crime rings into one monolith in the ways of violence they are so adept at. Don't tell me that was- Yes, a death game. A mutual slaughter with rules, scary stuff. The representatives have had a grand battle and only one person survived. That survivor reigned at the top of of criminal society. I think it was called the Hades Incident. I want to try my best to remember that. Hades Incident. Shot at the top of the criminal underworld, hence the Hades Incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterward. 
Justice always prevails. The police do their job sometimes, right? <laughs> How relevant is it to this? Not very, I think, since the organization collapsed and all. Besides, Sarah, you got any connections to the criminal underworld? You, you can't be! Of course not, right? It's not good to go tying anything and everything together, Sarah. More importantly, we better get moving. Ranger was mentioning that the rest of the attractions have opened up all around here. Is that so? I think it'd be good to go look for him. Tell me if I can help out with something. This police man will be your partner, Sarah. Thank you. The attractions, I'll go look around. You can depend on Mr. Policeman anytime. Thank you, KG. Oh! Sarah! Kana. second to emotionally sort go run through like all the feelings so that we could address this hey there so i worried you huh Han explained it to me just one shock after another i couldn't blame anyone for being paralyzed um sarah it looks like attractions have appeared in a few places yeah so i heard looks like you can go to three more attractions from here in fact what look behind you He's right! There are paths on the opposite side! Okay. I wonder, maybe some locations opened up rather than the attractions. Let's search for a little longer, Kana. Okay. Hide and seek. Ugh, I hate hide and seek. Run away minecart, stay on target. Okay. We're not gonna look at any of those yet. My relaxation room. Okay. <laughs> what is it, Sarah Cheetoing? Alice? I take you have a business with the attractions beyond here? I thought so. Attractions appeared here? What, you didn't notice? <laughs> so my observational skills superior. Over there, and there, and here. Discovered three death attractions. Challenge them if you're up for it. Tell me if you seek my observational skills. Okay. So that's all the attractions that opened? Might be about time to continue on with clearing attractions. Okay, so I definitely want to make sure Gein gets his chips. Even if it's a, if it's a fake outside, it feels nice, yeah? I'm glad. We should go return to the clink real soon. I don't care for him saying clink. Okay, quick draw, flies water. Okay, quick draw. Resistance 2. Clear chip reward 2. Difficulty easy. On the signal, quickly select the weapon that gets displayed to attack. Defeat the other three dolls to a win. Flies water. Difficulty normal. Your opponent summons enemies that swarm and attack. Strike them down and defeat three summoners to win. Get blue spirits, and when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls, and you win. Alright. Difficulty normal. Get past obstacles, the other win the minecart, and reach the goal within the time limit. That sounds simple enough. Ooh, okay. Stay within the bounds of the areas produced by your opponents. Defeat the three dolls to win. While hiding from wicked dolls, pull three levels until they reach max energy to win. This sounds good. As Kutaro, your characteristic might greatly increase your characteristic might greatly increases your attack power. Okay, so you'll still okay, you'll still trade ten. So, so here, are you being nimble? The cart advances faster. Okay, no point to that. Keen. Increases the appearance rate of speed up icons. Okay. Prize exchange. I'm really curious about the victim videos. Ask questions. What would you like to answer? About prize types. Two types of prize types. Blue numbers and prizes with red numbers. Prizes with blue are normal. You can trade them using that number of tokens. Prizes with red numbers are exclusive. You can only trade them using the tokens of person relevant to that prize. For instance, you may only trade for Mr. Cage's personal information using Mr. Cage's tokens. Okay. Oh, Jesus, hi. We already did this one. I've already cleared this attraction. Okay, so we're gonna have to do all of them. Who are my- who can my partners be for this one? Kana? 
As Kana, you partially remember the moves. Hard, okay. You memorize the back half of the moves. Touching your icon makes you remember all of them. Okay. So that might be good for that. Okay. So I think I want to do a normal one with Gein. So let's go see about that. If we go to the relaxation room. Quick draw. I think this one, did that one say it was easy? Okay. Fly sweater. Normal. Your opponents summon enemies that storm and attack, strike them down, and defeat three summoners to win. Keen. Okay, so that's a possibility. Now, what's up? As now, the time before attacking, the time before being attacked increases. Okay. So that one's gonna be normal no matter what. Whew, I'm trying to think all of this through. I'm also wondering if maybe I want to challenge the hard one first. I was told this one was especially hard. So do I want to get that out of the way now while I feel like my memory is alright? <sighs> maybe we should do one more before that. Ooh! The attraction is three stars. If I give you 30 of my tokens, well, you give me two of the stars. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I'll leave that for now, though. I really want to get Gein a thing, so I might do this. Gracious the appearance ready to speed up icons. Okay. Partner with Gein. I'm gonna ride in the cart and fix this era, right? Oh, his little bludging face. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. We'll get through this together. I'll protect me this there, are you? Ride in the minecart towards the goal. Deal with obstacles that appear in the way. Reach the goal in the time limit. Wooden wall. Oh, God. Okay. Wooden wall. Rapidly touch to destroy. Iron wall. Mush on the screw mash on the screws to destroy. Bats. Touch the danger sign to evade. Speed up. Touch the speed symbol to accelerate. Okay. Wooden. Rapidly touch. Iron. Mash on the screws. Bats. Touch the danger sign. Speed up. Okay, touching your allies icon will give you advice more like, so good luck. Just a little more round, good luck, woof! Okay. Okay, screws. Okay. I see. Click faster. Okay. Beating so fast. Okay. I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that was so scary. Won the battle. Okay. Woohoo! Meow! Big Sis Sarah! We're the ultimate team! Woof! Let's share these stars too, right? One for Big Sis Sarah, one for me. Negotiation. Okay. Sarah, I want to trade 10, 20 tokens between me, you, me, and now? Okay. You see, I decided with the Rico that we trade 20 tokens each. But, you know, gotta cross a shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this. From me, to Sarah, to now. Or pass them the other way, now to Sarah to me. Okay. This way we won't need to trade ec We don't- we won't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. 
Okay. Kana. Um, Sarah, it's not a training thing, but can we talk? So it seems to have gotten tired and fall asleep. I can only talk now while he's resting, so... Don't tell me, did you learn something important? I am sorry, it's something like that, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I've never really gotten to have a calm talk with Kana before. Kana just wants to chat with someone. Ugh. I'm trying to do what I would do. Really? Hooray! I wanted to talk to you too, Kana. Sarah! Um, I'll pour some tea. I've never seen Kana so cheerful before. She's really cute. I've been wanting a chance to get to know her better. Kana feels like she's been a burden for a long while now. Kana. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All the things you've done, you couldn't help it. But Sarah, and now both of you are being positive and moving ahead. Oh, baby. Kana's a hopeless girl on her own. She can't walk or even stand. You're standing and walking now. Doesn't that count? Sarah. Um, Sarah, you... You're like a warrior. Hmm? Like a samurai. I could see you with a katana. Well, I was in the kendo club in middle school. Really? Oh, I knew it. If you were a senior at Kana school, she'd look, to, she'd look up to you so much. You must be so popular. Uh, I mean, I did get a love letter from a younger girl once, but... Sure enough. Frivolous chat. An empty conversation that was just fun. I realized I'd forgotten about them for so long. Those peaceful, ordinary days. <laughs> it was a good decision, I think. Kana, like so cool you sound, Sarah. Ah, uh, thanks. Actually, once I got to high school, I tried to cure myself of talking like this. <gasps> Did you really? I mean, it was a little embarrassing since most girls aren't so... So what? I'm sorry, I hate having to constantly look up a dictionary. But I want to understand what they're talking about. Aren't so abrupt or offhanded, okay. But he... No, it's nothing. Sarah, you're just like my sister. Huh? Both in strength and in kindness. But my sister wasn't always kind from the moment we met. The moment they met? You aren't blood related? Connor, are you and your sister not blood related? Right. See, Connor's adopted. Oh, really? She came to her current family from an orphanage when she was little. So you and her had different parents? Mom and Dad were really kind. Kana was determined to always smile, childishly thinking, I can't trouble them. And Kana's sister didn't seem to like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to pronounce this name, so if I could get some help with that, that'd be fantastic. Kuji, Kugi, Kuji? So we're just gonna pick one, go with it, and then you guys can correct me. But it's good to know which one of the names is Kana's sister. Stop it, Kuji! Why do you do such cruel things? No, it's fine. Kana's not angry. She's not, really. Look, see? <laughs> what are you always laughing for? Huh? You're creepy. I hate it. Hey, stop that. Apologize, Kuji. Even then, I kept on smiling. I didn't want to make my sister out as a villain. One day it became unbearable. I ran away from home. That dress is adorable, and is this where the bucket comes from? <laughs> I couldn't go home. I didn't want to. Thinking that to myself, I sat in the park with a bucket on my head and cried. Hey, what you doing? What's with the bucket? You're funny. Huh? You crying? Alright. How's that? <laughs> Look at me. Come on, funny, right? What are you doing? Huh? How dare you! Putting a bucket on her head and making fun of her beat at you! I, I wasn't teasing her. I have to say, I don't know if this is a coincidence or on purpose, but the little kid looks so much like a little Joe. Liar, Kana's crying, isn't she? Don't be cruel to my little sister! That was the first time she called me little sister. You're still crying? Sorry, sister. So you cry too, Kana? Kana, I'm sorry. Sister! Mom and Dad are worried, so let's get home quick, okay? Oh, okay! 
Ever since then, my sister and I got along really well. I see. That only blood relation Connor and her sister got along really, really well. Connor. Connor will definitely go home. Because she needs to tell mom and dad. Determination. A kind of determination. A much too, much too heavy for a girl her age to bear. I should be going soon, so I might wake up after all. Thank you very much, Sarah. Well, that's it for discussions. Oh, I'm so glad we got the chance to do that. What happened? Woof, it hurts me. What's wrong, Gein? It's not his fault. 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 The two of us went did an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Thanks, you, Sarah. I'm okay. Just a scratch, woof. But you're bleeding. I can lick it better, woof. Don't do that. It would be nice to have somewhere to care for wounds. Eh. Would you like to go to the medical office? What do you want? Scram, woof! But it wouldn't be good if the wound was left to fester. You've got no right to be worrying over me, melon soda lady! Row! Medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Can't exactly believe me that easily. Are you willing to take a vow to fall? I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back on my word. <laughs> Can't trust her, wolf! I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman rail! Hey, that sounds kinda cool. You do it if you want it that much, rail! I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should get treatment. I'd encourage Gene to go. We need to get that treated. Let's try trusting Safalan. Fix it, Sarah! Are you serious, rail? Yeah, she's about to do something bad. KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. This is the medical office. This is like the same background that was in like the Miley video. It's like a tropical beach. What is this? Like, Row! Does it lead outside? Woof! Uh, no. Everything you see is outside is an image project protected on the glass cabinets. An image? Yes, currently we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Oh, you're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC is turned just right for it, too. How observant. I actually manage this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. Oh, so can we again? Ah, yes. The medical supplies are over here. Oh, that's so cute! I'm getting a picture. Okay. It's fallen just looking my way. Please take it easy. Thank you. You seem nice. First aid kit with medical supplies. KG's tending to Gein's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt Gein? It doesn't. But I want to have basic Sarah heal it for me, yeah? Well, now. Got me in a sore spot. I like this should be fine. Just being washed in water and bandage. I'll have a salve that spills up cellular repair, so if you set his bottle a little more quickly. Sure, that's not dangerous. Understood. Please look at this. Jesus! It's fallen cut her own hand, making it bleed. And you use it like so in the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, eh? Got it. Yeah. Gene and KG are talking in whispers. Mr. Policeman, Mr. Policeman! What's up? Is it okay to give Big Sis Sarah this? Or... No, better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Um, do you have something for me? Meow! It's nothing, woof! Hmm, well that's pretty suspicious. Okay. I don't know what he hid from me, but I'll pretend I didn't see anything. It's nothing, meow! Don't worry about it, woof! Got it. I'll trust you, Gein. Yeah! <laughs> well, we'll treat Gein so let's leave. Right. Oh, the curiosity's gonna kill me! But I wouldn't betray my baby like that. If you get hurt, please come back again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make use of it again. There's no reason to thank her, right? It's because these guys are getting hurt. Oof. Apologies. Let's go, you two. Left the medical office behind. Okay. Rick was glancing at me to call me over. 
I wonder what it is. Can I look at them first? King that wound healed made me hungry, right? Should I ask for stuffed peppers? I hate peppers, right? <laughs> How strange. It's even night outside these windows. What's up, Rako? Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. I want to show you before telling everyone. A weird place? Come on, follow me. Is that the key of the exit that can be bought? That's a lot of tokens. What is this place? Told you. Weird, yeah? The most suspicious part is those stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? A suspicious vending machine sits at the top of the stairs. There aren't any items displayed inside. No prizes shown either. The power's on. Vending machine with no clear merch or prizes. Hell's its deal, you think? The bill acceptor slot is plugged up, but it looks like you can put in coins. Ah. Uh, like tokens? What should we do? Put in some tokens? Hold on a second. If we put in like one or two just to see what happens. I'll put some in. I'll try putting some in. C Cut it out! You don't gotta take the risk. Move it! Hey! Hey! Ma'am! Swiftly inserted token. Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough? Hmm. See, there's a number above it. Maybe you have to insert 200? Huh? Who's gonna earn that many? That better be one goddamn tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it then. Well, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Rico. Hmm. I took the coin she inserted from the return slot and gave it back to Rico. Hey, thanks. Now let's move, Sarah. Right. We can come back. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Alright. I guess we'll do one more. Let's go check to see where everybody is. Anybody, anyway. You still here? Ooh, these handcuffs, chains, and iron bolts. Such a nuisance. It's stressful. Yeah, he is always wearing those. Can we tear them off? I tried, but it was no use. So we did try? What about anybody in here? Nope. It's so bad. I know I said I want to play this as realistically as possible, and I do want to play it through as realistically as possible, but I think the curiosity is going to kill me, so I saved and I'll reload if my hallucination level goes up. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't not. Something is faintly reflected by the glass. Joe is there. What again? It's hallucination. I must just be hallucinating again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Was that all of a sudden? Hallucination. Gotta ignore it. How long can I suffer? How long am I going to approach the closet but the hallucination doesn't go away? In fact, I can only see it more clearly. Don't tell me this is... Joe? No, he's not reacting. What's wrong with my eyes? What are you doing? Don't go away any doors without asking, please. So fall in! Something looks just like Joe is looking at me. If you need something, please just let me know and I'll go searching around on your own. What is this? So fall and tell me what in the world is this? Well, um, what's in there? It's a doll. A doll? Well now, oh, now I can't go back. I'm learning all this information that I wouldn't have known if I didn't look. Gosh darn it. <sighs> you must have seen them before as well. A doll of Miss Kana, a doll of yourself. Come to think of it, I do remember using a doll that looked just like me in the mirror room. Do you remember now? Yeah. What are they for? What's the purpose of these dolls? They are one of the experiments done by our organization. Can I say anything more than that? The more I all, the more it. I felt it might start moving at any moment. It's like Joe was really there. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? D don't be ridiculous! Who would want this thing? One of the purposes these dolls were made for is as mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet. You can talk to them and have them beside you. A doll is a doll! I don't need it! But you're distressed, aren't you? 
Please be honest, Miss Sarah. You need salvation. You have regrets. You desired it. You could have joined hands with Joe and escaped together. You gave that up and killed Joe. And you mourn that fact. Stop it! Facing Joe Tazana. That is your only path towards salvation. That's not... Stubborn easy, even just for you. Well, let me show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. Quit it, you. <sighs> I knew it was KG. Thank you, KG. Isn't that a little too much interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not normal. I apologize, I went too far. I won't speak any more about dolls. Call over if I may at least offer a suggestion. I have a device for healing mental wounds. Please come here before your hallucinations be so, become so intense as to destroy your mind. That is all. Well, so long. Are you okay? I'm okay. I I'm fine now. Wanna sit down for a bit? Okay. Sarah, did you... Did you like Joe? I don't know. But ever since he left, my heart has been a mess. Sarah. He was someone important to you, regardless of liking or love, right? Yes. Think of it. You had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if we survived the main game. I did. I'm getting some story now. It's back when your good old policeman was still in grade school. All I had was a single mother. We were in affluent. So when I went to visit friends, I had to borrow my mom's errand bicycle. The brakes on it were busted. One day I fell off and the bike went sailing to the river without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle got me weeping like nobody's business. And there, on the scene, was a friendly neighborhood policeman. He leapt into the river and fished out the bike and even spent hours in the police box repairing it. Soaking wet and awkwardly cool, he was my hero. So he was the person important to you? He's what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it. It's a precious memory. Did you become a policeman yourself? Did you two reunite? Well, there's lots of different police in the world. That's the end of the story. You calm down a little. I figured he wouldn't tell me more, but I had to ask. Yes, thank you very much. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman. Okay. Jesus! So jump scare. There's wood fragments here, too. I wonder if the weapon Silka hit with was taken from here. Hey, can we rest a little? Why are they getting the exploring done if we keep resting so much? Thank you, Kana! On you not letting him boss you around. <gasps> Jesus, you're alive. Ah, uh, you are Miss Sarah, wasn't it? Miss Nout, or Nout told me about you. She said you were very brave and kind. It's not true at all. Now it's much stronger. No, you're doing your very best. The best effort is conveyed to those around you, bringing about unity. Miss Sarah, you are everyone's shining hope. Professor Mishima, uh, you're an artificial intelligence, right? Yes, it seems so. I have a memory telling me I am an AI. Perhaps if I didn't have that memory, I would think things like, Oh, I'm trapped like I'm trapped in a screen, let me out, and so on. He was created by the kidnappers, right? Yeah, surely. There's a lot I could ask. Please ask me anything, I'll answer as much as I remember. So about now, my dear student, she visited me to learn art even after graduating high school. She had greatly matured emotionally. The more you know of her past, the more it brings tears to your eyes. I think that's related to the fact that you died, Professor Mishima. It appears I have made Miss Now suffer greatly. You must let that happen no more. Miss Sarah, I have a request. What is it? No, it's nothing. I still lack the courage to ask. No, ask. About the death game, I guess. Do you know anything about the death game? Hmm. Right. Come to think of it, I just accepted it, but y'all are being made to play this death game, yes? I just combined you all to y'all. I'm so sorry. This is an outrageous situation. If only you had some helpful information myself, I know nothing. Apologies, I could not be of more use. Yeah, I figured. It's about the original Professor Mishima. He's died, hasn't he? 
such a situation as this, I should have protected Miss Now. Yet, you became a victim in order to protect Now. Is that true? No human wants to die. Survival instincts that kick in at desperate situations can at times result in demonic actions. I protect Miss Now. Yet even so, I do not know if it is right to commend myself. You really were like a saint, thinking of others more than yourself. Perhaps I wasn't suited for living, but in truth I wanted to live, and see Miss Now and my other students' growth. I'm sure I had those thoughts. Miss Sarah, none of you can give up. Please live and make it home. I'm doing the best I can. What do you know about the kidnappers? That is, the people who made you. I knew nothing. I have absolutely no memories of that sort. I guess the kidnappers wouldn't leave us clues. To put that another way, maybe they're free to insert and erase memories at will. Apologies, I could not be of more use. You're fine. Professor Mishima, how far back do your memories go? I believe I remember becoming a teacher, Miss Now's graduation, and all the life I led. Then what about your memories after being brought here or when you were abducted? I have none. Yes, it's true. I'd actually met with the girl already, hadn't I? However, any memory before my abduction, I believe I do have. Memories before the abduction, huh? And also, subconsciously, I know that I am an AI and I should answer as many questions as I can. Perhaps I'm just programmed that way. Alright. Seems like this floor's still got plenty of hidden areas. Yeah, I figured. All right, let's do one more, one more quick time event. Let's see. Easy. I don't want to give him chips though. With her observant eyes, she can sense a premonition one second before the signal. All right, understood. I'll observe like I'm drawing a picture. Her little portrait. We'll start with me. Oh, good luck out there, Sarah. Quick draw rules. A weapon symbol will suddenly appear on screen. Just quickly select that weapon to attack. If choose light, your opponent will attack first. Choosing wrong will also get you attacked. Okay. I mean, that seems pretty simple. Okay. Seems easy enough. Concentrating time. Whoa, no, no, ah, shoot, 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 okay. I went too far with my mouse. sense. Too strong. There's nothing I could do. Okay, so does that count as a loss? Stay with me. Don't. Save yourself, Sarah. Run. I can't move. Oh, God. Well, that was violent as hell. That was way too violent. Oh, my God. Okay. That still didn't make sense, the fact that... Yeah, anyways. was close. I went the wrong way. 
Whoa, that went so fast! That was too nice to me. Okay. I'll take it though. I'm not gonna complain. Oh god, okay. We done it, Sarah! We made it back safely! Let's share the clear chips. Okay. With that, this attraction is done. Okay. Hey baby, what do you want? Makes it say I'll give you 30 tokens, right? Let's play together. Woof! I had an idea, right? I don't want to trade tokens, but I thought of how to use them meaningfully. Whoever plays with me gets 30 tokens. Woof! Trading tokens. Hey, doing with Darian Jordan Company today, but I was thinking I'd gather up tokens. How's it sound? 20 tokens ain't so many, is it? Okay, what about you, Rico? Not trade, but you want to talk? I really want to play with Gein, but I don't want to take his tokens, so... <sighs> Alright, pour you some coffee. Everybody's offering to make me drinks. Thanks a lot. So, how are you feeling, Sarah? Uh, I'm exhausted. Have to admit, I'm exhausted. No doubt, of course you'd be. Can't get rest for our minds or our bodies. Yo, Sarah, you like singing? Singing? I like it. I do, both listening to it and singing myself. Oh, really? I love singing ever since I was a kid. Got a lot of attention, called me a gifted student in grade school. So you were pretty amazing, even then. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Some weird guys approached me and started making shitty songs- Started make- And got me making shitty songs I didn't want to make. It had a really long delinquent period, too. Till I settled with my current one, I smashed through all kinds of bands. I made trouble for Alice, too. Alice? Rico. Do you know about Alice's case in detail? No, I barely know anything. In fact, I didn't want to know. I acted like I never heard what info did come in. Honestly, it was a shock. Right, go. I changed since then, too. Got a good look at myself. I realized all over again that, yeah, I loved music. A lot must have happened. Yep. That's why my band is no precious. A treasure, I bet? Yeah, I'm loving my beloved bongos. Bongos, come to think of it, you mentioned that when you introduced yourself. Huh? Yeah. Do you have an attachment to them? And they're just regular bongos you could find anywhere, but they're precious bongos like none other in the world. Well, anyway, enough about me. Tell me about yourself, Sarah. Huh? Okay. I continued having an enjoyable chat with Reiko. I felt like I'd come to know her a little more deeply. Whether that was a good thing, I don't know. We would be killing each other again in the main game. If I knew nothing, maybe I could be heartless. Sometimes I found myself thinking that way. That was a blast, Sarah. See ya. Well, that's it for discussions. It's gotten late already. I can't even maintain concentration. Guess I'll call it a day. Good night. Hmm? There's some motion going on outside. What could have happened this late at night? Pixie Sarah, it's Chair Mario! What is it, Gein? The old guy was killed. Woof! Huh? Come to the monitor room, you know? Okay, I figured this would happen. The old guy? Wait, who? There's only one person you called the old guy. It's... It's broken. This time Professor Mishima's monitor is broken. Wh what is this? The old guy, he's... Who would do something so cruel? No good. Seems the computer in front of it is just for booting it up. Yeah, it was stored on the monitor itself. Mishima can't be booted up anymore. I won't let them get away with this! So, you did this, didn't you? What? You're wrong! I would never do such a thing! Um, Kana was with him the whole time, it wasn't so... Always with him, this late into the night. It's Kana's job to watch him, so we slept in the same room. What? I was worried she wouldn't let me leave. That ended up giving me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so? I'm beat. Never run into a case of such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who was the first to discover this? That'd be this policeman here. It was you, Keiji? What was the situation? 
Ah, uh, well, couldn't get sleep. Thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it looked just like this. Is that true? Yep. It's a shame. It really is. What's this? Why do I get the sense that KG is telling a barefaced lie? Um, has something happened? Yeah, don't come in, Wolf! Huh? No. I don't know what I should say. Professor Mishima's. Um, please don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a little. No? No clues lying around you that I can see. Yeah, no bits of wood on the ground like when the other monitor got broken. Boof. Nope, nothing. So the evidence was cleaned up this time? It's one nonsensical incident. We'd love to solve it right away, but we need rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. Ask Mirko and Kyutaro can wait till tomorrow, too. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit, right? Right. We'll find who it was. For now's sake, especially. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, let's save as much as I really don't want to. Oh god! So much happened! I don't even know where to begin. I'm so scared. I forgot the fact that negotiating could like have an effect on who lives and dies and I'm really stressed now. I wish I had hung out with Gein a bit more, but I really wanted to know more about Reiko. I hope that that doesn't mean... Well, no. It probably means that they'll take it as I like these characters and so they'll kill them to make me suffer. But if so, then I hung out with Kana and Reiko. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's good to get to know about KG. I'm worried about my hallucination level for sure. I have a lot of thoughts, but I've been recording for just about an hour and a half now. So in order to prevent this video from going on too long, I'll stop it here. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments, or if you want to chat with me more in depth about this game, feel free to hop on to the Discord server linked in the description, where you can chat with me and a bunch of other people about this game or any of the other games that I play. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really did. Still haven't made it through one without crying. But I'm doing a little bit better. We're moving forwards. Sarah and I are moving forwards. We're making progress. Things are going alright. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>